Knowledge Metal Safe. It was working fine. I should give it a try. Okay. Again, that's got to be the six something. Six something five. That or six something something five. Books, yeah. Probably dropping off the metal. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to come together for the combination. Personally, I am not very, I'm not at all versed in Latin, so I have no point of reference. But we'll give the medal to, uh, the dude. And that might get me some information out of him. We also might have to expose the... Actually, they said it was carefully burned, right? Oh! That's a good one! Let me go back to the safe. I didn't even think of that. Well, I did think of that. I just didn't think of it at first. Clearly, we thought of that. Otherwise, that wouldn't have happened just now. So my brain meets actually work for this one. Woo! Are there were only like one or two points I got fairly stuck on in the first one. They're really good. At, the answers. They're really good about the answers being there. The main, the main, the main, the main, the main, the main th the fog puzzle was the worst one. Okay, so let's put these together. The whole message is readable now. It seems to be Latin. I think it reads, I've seen a dead eyelid move. Six, one, four, five. Got it. Now the question is that six, one, is it the digits or is it? Like, move back that many spaces. Six. Six. Okay. One. Four. There we go! Big money, no whammies. Is empty. Wait. This is not a safe. But an entrance to a passage is completely dark. The only way to know where it leads is by crawling in. Uh, I don't trust that. I'm gonna go do the metal. Oh. We're already here. YOLO! Oh, hello. Well, chance for me circle, as if the hideout served some sort of meeting place. Oh, really? Mathematic formula written fast and carelessly. Some of the symbols I have never even seen before. That's going to be alchemy. It's the numbers. Looks like some sort of calendar or timetable. Today's machine built out of wood, steel, and glass. I wonder what its function could be. Oh, hello, sir. Or madam. There's someone sitting here wearing a horrible mask and a yellow robe. He's not moving. Oh, that's Dupre. He took the serum. He's just zonked out. 
Whoa! Or it's nothing. Don't need other robes. There's nobody inside at all. What could be the meaning of this? Maybe he already got vapored into the other thing. Oh. We broke it. Um. Fudge. Oh, hi. Maybe I'm leaving. Bye. It's, 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 it's been lovely. It wouldn't let me look at, at her or anything. Oh, we can look at the mask. Oh, the mask is probably what I need to talk to the old lady. Mask I found at Alexandre Dupre's former residence. It is similar to those used by the ancient Greek theater. It was for the eyes are missing, so it would be impossible for the wearer to see a thing. The expression is one of excruciating horror. That or it has something to do with the guy who is freaking the F out in the, uh, that side room behind the mirror. Okay, so that's the same lady that was out here. Fair enough. All right, let's go uh, drop off this metal. I forget what the saving protocol for this series is. I mean, I'll try to find a manual one before we wrap up. Yeah, I'm trying to get at least one episode done tonight. I don't know how late I'm going to go because i got stuff to do. Got to get ready for that Breath of the Wild. But, sir. Ben, I want just like this. Got it after the battles at Lang's Neck. Ajima Hill in 1881. A decade ago now. For distinguished conduct in the field, it's said. What a farce. So you were in the army, as I thought. Let me introduce... Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Wakefield. Alton William Cargill, Her Majesty's fourth and six... Uh, I can... I know what a four looks like, and a six. But it's the sixth light. Are you another one of those alienists? You doctors not realize that cowardice cannot be cured by rots? Uh... Why are they keeping you here? Doctor, say I suffer from a nervous disorder. I believe this is a term for when they, they themselves, with all their learning, do not know what to say. Not entirely untrue. Uh, but I know the true name of my sickness it is pure cowardice. I am looking for a former patient of this hospital. You may have met him. His name is Alexandre Dupre. Yes, I did know a man by that name. We met briefly here when I arrived. What do you know about him? He was a proper lad, educated. He listened closely to the stories of other inmates, but he kept his own to himself. We talked a lot. He was very close to Miss Carney, too. I think they got here at the same time. When we when he left, he was so alone. I wonder what has become of him. Who is this Miss Carney? He's a passenger. A lady with a tempestuous character. You may have encountered her already. She has not been the same since Mr. Dupre left, you know. She always sits to the side, alone and silent. I doubt you could even talk to her at all, even if you tried. Or at least you think she does. Uh, what did you talk about, Mr. Uh, we talked about my time in the South of Africa. I don't like to talk about that, but he somehow made me want to. He was very persuasive. He was very interested in one specific story. I was obsessive about it. Wanted to know every little. Would you tell me that story? I'm trying to find a patient of mine who has gone missing, and this could be my only hope of finding him. I don't like to relive memories. Missing patient, you say? I. Right. Maybe my story would be of some use. It happened during the Battle of. I'm sure you've heard of it. In March of '81, the attack of the Boer army had taken by su us by surprise, and our regiment was forced to split up. We quickly found ourselves alone. A few men lost on the barren plain. But I don't want to bore you. Yes, sir, you certainly are. Please continue. 
Cutscene! As I said, we were few. For sure, the enemy was lurking out there, in the cold air of dusk. A thick fog formed quickly, masking everything around us. We could barely see each other. Fog is also never good in this series. I'm just saying. Usually a problem. Oh. I have to walk with. Okay. Let's march. Yeah, you can kind of see my figure in the middle there. Then the others started to disappear in the fog. Getting thicker and thicker. Oh yeah. Later, dudes. You'll hear the footsteps for a while. And nothing. I called the names aloud, even though I knew I shouldn't. Something about the fog terrified me. Jason! I felt something in there, not far. A murmur or a beating. Something alive, waiting. Couldn't help walk. Won't be our, it's gonna be our, that bird god. All of a sudden, my feet felt something in the mud. Body. They were all there. Dead. Only Captain Skid was missing. Well, yeah, they're, they're, I guess, they, yeah, those, I, I can't tell if those are tree parts or body parts. Whatever. Uh, I guess they are supposed to be bodies. Kind of bent. Hey, friend. Why are you phasing in and out of existence? In the mid What had happened? I never knew for certain. I didn't see anything, or if I did, my mind refused to bear such memories. What happened to Captain Skid? When he finally regained, he finally regained consciousness, it was like someone else looked at, at us through his eyes. I guess whatever happened affected him, changed him. I know he tried to go. He, I know he came back to London. Mr. Dupre asked me of his whereabouts. Maybe he tried to contact him, hear the rest of the story. He was quite preoccupied by it. Hmm, do you know where I can find Captain Skid? The last I heard from fellow veterans, he had lost himself to a frenzy of alcohol, opium, and bad company. His this downward, downward spiral led him, as many others, to a wretched nadir, dirty hole, deep in St. Giles' rookery, known as the Crimson. Mayhap you will find him there, alive even. Or lucky. Here, this is a picture of our regiment. Eh. Yeah. He had a puppy! Alright, new location. Oh, a pretty good clip. Photo. Photograph of combatants in the Boer War. Making them are Sergeant Kong Hill and Captain Ski. You comment on this mask? No. Further comment on the photograph? No. Burn it? Not a good idea. Oh. Nope, okay. Worth a shot. Whoa! Not quite what I intended, madam. Is the isolation one for you? Face of the playwright! The face of the playwright! Oh. Well. We have a title. Seems to have reacted rather strongly to that. Whoa, my dude. That is striking the glass strongly with this fit. His expression is of pure hate. I don't think he can see me, but I feel somehow he knows I'm here. Try and go talk to him? Any further information on this? Do I get anything else I can use? Oh wait, they said they were taking her to the isolation ward, let's follow them. 
and then sneak in there. Then it'll be unlocked for a minute. All the, this is all that only this window is shuttered. The kid casts a bottled shadow over this corner of the room. Wait. That poor woman. They must have taken her to the isolation ward. Alright. Based on the isolation ward, isolation ward, let's go to the isolation ward. Oh, it's open. See anything? Hey, it, it fends the world with. Cool. Oh wow, they don't like this? What a 2A. His room was 108 some, wasn't it? Hey buddy. How's it going? Not much light vanishes to Hello, my name is Wakefield. I is that what it's Excuse me, but what butterfly? Sorry. The butterfly you talk about? And if her colors fills your eyes with awe, only a shell. Find the veil, its body crawls in the dark. Hides in the darkness and forms. Eyes. So, what would this be? Dark body creaks and rustles with fine movement. Slowly, step by step. Closer. 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 Well, what about this one? It will come, whatever you do. It will cry out loud, looking at you from everywhere at the same time. Well, what about this one? Him. Him? Mask. A mate from the other room used to scream at night. Oh, he's told us he could feel something under his bed. Presence. Eyeless gaze. Oh, really? There's no comment on that. Okay, so he's good. I hope you don't mind that I just leave all these doors open. 104A. Knock, knock. You'd think they would lock these from the outside.